Can we assume, though, that if the Chinese begin buying agricultural products between now and September, we can avoid that tariff increase? Would that be sufficient? Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to speculate, you know, can avoid and so forth. I would say from our talks internally that that would be a plus. That would be a very good plus if they start buying agriculture products in size. It would certainly help the story. At the moment, the president followed that tweet up with um, some more aggressive language, Larry, I think you'd say. Until such time that there is a deal, we will be taxing the hell out of China. Larry, how do you expect the Chinese res to respond to that language? Uh, well, we will see. I don't want to speculate on that. Uh, there's some things coming out of Beijing today, and we will be evaluating these statements. I, I don't want to get ahead of the story uh, at all. We'll see a day at a time. But again, there's certainly a month here before the tariffs go into place. A lot of things can happen in a month. A lot of good things can happen in a month. So let's just see what happens. I don't, I don't like to predict or speculate on any of this. Well, Larry, I appreciate that. But just to understand the premise of that statement, we will be taxing the hell out of China. If these tweets become policy on September 1st, taxes will be going up on U.S. consumers as well, won't they? Well, look, uh, the consumer issue, you know, we've been down this road discussing it with respect to prior tariffs. You know, our view is any impact on U.S. consumers is, is, is de minimis and minuscule. And we have models to show that, you know, look, the, probably the strongest aspect of the American economy today, uh, including this jobs report, is, is precisely consumer spending and consumer income. Uh, and that includes real income because there's no inflation. We think the economic burden uh, of these tariffs has fallen most heavily on China. Uh, they've had to slash prices in order to offset tariffs. That's damaged their profitability and their growth. There's a lot of movement of production and related supply chains uh, out of China uh, and going elsewhere. And so I, I really think that in terms of the American story, our economy is quite strong. Yeah. And unfortunately, in terms of the China story, I think their economy is quite weak. So, Larry, relatively speaking, I think most people would agree with that. But let's talk about some of those models. You've modeled this impact of an extra 10 percent on this 300 billion. That's been modeled internally. Can you share with us some of those findings that you've actually found? Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk to our team and see if we want to put any of that out. We have not yet. We may. I'll get back to you on that. OK, well, I'd love to talk to you about it because a lot of people are confused by it. Most people assume that if you put that tariff up to 10 percent on September 1st, there's going to be some real pass through to the consumer because these are the retail items that haven't been touched so far. So are you saying that won't happen come September? Prices won't go up on everyday items for consumers because of this tariff? Well, I'm speaking in the aggregate, Jonathan. But uh, again, our experience and our modeling suggests that any consumer impact be very, very small and that the biggest burden in economic terms is falling on China. And I, you know, I think the Chinese economy is in a rather poor shape. I, I don't want the Chinese economy to be in bad shape. I'm just saying that's what's happened. Our economy is very strong. Their economy is very weak. They're losing market share. They're losing production. Uh, and they're probably not going to get that back. People are going yeah. elsewhere. Some people are coming back home to the United States. We welcome that with our very low corporate tax rates and our deregulation program and our easy access to energy and so forth. So I think it's a plus. But look, w uh, without forecasting, we expect to meet with the Chinese in September. And um, some good things may well come from that meeting. That is possible.